Hello guys and welcome to another episode of OCC where we play Minecraft without leaving the house. You know, like usual. So in the previous episode we wrote a command called run. Oops. I have to turn this off and on again. Alright. So we wrote a program called run, which would obey our commands like this, and it was pretty good. There was just one major flaw, we couldn't say something like go forward, go forward, come back, go up, go back and go down. But we can now, and I'm gonna show you how in just a second, let me just slip real quick. Oh, and yeah, there's a new version of Open Computers, I guess I'll upgrade for the next episode. And this one we're going to play with what we have for now. Anyway, let's switch the editor for a second. Alright, so the problem was is in, this, in the iron pairs of X. And thanks to one of the users, I'm going to check his name real quick, who pointed this out in the last episode and his name was hello guys welcome oops I had to open YouTube real quick and oh come on please show me the comments fast Eddie thank you fast Eddie for your comments and for helping me move forward Okay, let's go back to Minecraft and continue playing. So, what do we want Harkness, our friend, to do now? I guess we could start using the run command and uh, chop more trees and expand our base a little bit. But we also need a little bit of sand because we had to leave inside glass walls. And for that purpose we also need some stone. I think about eight of them. So let's start with getting some stone. Okay, so we have a little bit of wood. Let's convert it. I think that should be enough, and yes, oops, that's not how you make a, yeah, alright, I'm going to equip Harkness with a wooden pickaxe and write a program for him to, you know, go under this house and mine a little bit and then come up, so let's see what we can do. About that, I'm going to switch to our editor and let's oh, let's test something real quick. Could we write a script like this? Test.shell, where we say things like and run forward, 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 back, back, back. Can I run this actually? Let's see. So the name was test.shell. So if I type test.shell, syntax on your F, okay? And if I say sh test.shell, it's not gonna work. Alright. So I guess we have to write a Lua code. There was something. Uh, regarding calling a shell command from inside Lua. Let's test it real quick. So I need to require the shell API like so and then I think I can say shell that execute run f f and yeah it works 
So why do we need such a thing? Going back to our editor, using this syntax, we could write a little something, uh, some programs. Let me remove home test shell and write home mind Lua. Okay. So we first have to import our little bodies called a local shell require shell and local move require move. I guess we have to upgrade update our move as well using oh I forgot already home. On that Lua. yeah. Package that loaded that move equal new like that, and okay. Hmm. Oh, we don't really need the shell API. I'm sorry. So with our move API, we could define a series of events. How do we define an array inside Lua? Array, so does this work? No, does this work? Yes, and I can say for i in a do print i and Nope. Uh, let me search just real quick and I'll be back with you. Okay, so I figured where the problem is. We have to do something like this. And then say for key value in pairs of A, D, print value. And there we get it. So let's issue our editor. I want to define a string of movements. Ooh. Uh, so for key in and value in pairs of moves do and we're gonna do move that act value and what's our callback function we should define our handler function as well so the handler function so that's the reason okay so if reason equals what are the reasons I don't remember let's check our tree I guess no home source tree in tree one I guess no home library move Yeah, what was the... Uh, I can't remember. Home test. Yeah, there. So I'm gonna just copy and paste this. So this handler was a pretty straightforward one. It would check if the problem was an entity, it will simply try to move again. If the problem was a solid object, then it would try to swing forward and that's it I think I'm gonna add a little bit more so if the act equaled down then robot that swing down and I guess um, maybe we don't have to call 
the robot API directly here. Maybe we could just call new act, then swing down, and then uh, this handler with the act, act, and then this handler again, right? And here as well. So if the act is forward, oh no. Uh, we don't really need to do this one and this one so copy you paste if the act is going forward and there was a solid object then try to swing forward after that repeat the act If the problem is with going downward, then do a swing downward and then do your thing. And same for up. So if it is up, then move that X swing up with this handler and then end. Right? Okay, now what are our moves? define a down move and an up move for now just to see how it goes so switching back to the game come game okay uh, we have the mine code let's see yeah then card the problems going down and go up again down, constant trying to come up, and then it comes up. Perfect. Just put it down. All right. So now, what do we want to do exactly? Can okay, make just um, think again. So we want to go down, and then we want to go forward. A couple of times. How many times do you want to go forward? I say we're gonna go forward about thirty times, and then you're just gonna come back thirty times. I'm pretty sure our movement library is not supporting this number at the moment. Yeah, it's not. You can see. So how can we implement it? I had an idea, instead of giving it a act, to give it a more like a path. So how should we implement this path? Okay, so how we're gonna handle it is this. Uh, our path, oh my god, the zombie is so loud. The zombie is so loud, where is it? Yeah, let's pause the game for a second now. Okay, I'm back to our reader. So our path is a string which is uh, needs to be split based on these semicolons. So how am I going, how am I going to do that? So there's a for involved for each act uh, or for word in a string that g match we want to match path and what is our pattern we want anything but comma repeated anything but comma repeated at least once do then end bring you up for reference so a this means a set of characters the carrot means anything but and then we have comma so this would match f3 then it would match r then it would match f1 and so on and so forth okay so our move function uh, let's just get a 
what did we call it callback function as well so callback and move now uh, let's just test it real quick we want to meet that act on board with callback and let's go back to our home mine code coming to you out define moves as d comma u then comment these lines how they comment this now yeah and I'm gonna say move that move moves let's just call it path with handler all right so local path so what what is what let me just test it and then I'm going to explain it to you uh, let's try the mine oh there's a problem here in function move unfinished capture what does unfinished capture means the problem is definitely not here it's in home leap move we have unfinished capture here uh, oh yeah we are missing a parenthesis okay fix that come back to game fine yes works as before all right so how does this work can I make your editor in the mine code we have a path that says down and then up simple as that this is a comment we cannot get rid of it then we have a handler in case there is a problem and then we have our move command which says move the path you know this one and if there was any error call the handler function and how does the move command handles it the move commands look for parts of a string that are anything not involving comma so it would match the f tree in this case and then it would match the r and then it would match f1 then it would call act on each of those individuals and then it will call uh, in case of any error it will pass them to the callback it received itself and that's basically it now this is a real simple function but I need a little bit more you know uh, complex and how am I going to do that all right so so we need to parse a number and the way to do that would be using the string mesh function again on another pattern so let's define a local num and assign it to string that match uh, what do you want to match word what is the pattern the pattern is percent d plus or one so what does this mean let me run a Lua interpreter here so you know what a string that match does right let's pretend our match is the word f13 for what 13 times and our pattern was percent d plus so percent d means any digits and plus means once or more obviously and this is going to match number 13 but let's say there is no number at the end it's gonna return nil and we wanna 
append we appended an or over here for this case so if it couldn't find a number it will return number one for us which is perfect if you can find a number then it will, it will return the number if it if not it will return one for us so uh, now we're just gonna call for from I want to num do and and that so I guess it should work now yeah there's only one other concern I'm actually concerned that this might not work as expected because now the word has a number in front of it we have to do another word for our case so now I'm just gonna redefine the word string that match word and guess what anything but any number at least once right let's test it actually so another terminal a Lua interpreter and I'm just gonna say a string that match let's test with f13 again percent d and a plus of course yeah it matches the f what is it sewing for what 13 times yes it works perfectly fine so yeah this should work totally let's come over here and do something weird let's call down two times and up two times and see what happens switching to the game so cat mine dot of course uh, let's call it less it's going to go down twice and then up twice let's see if it works mine down once down again and up twice yes yeah, works perfect so what's the durability on that yeah, it has quite a fair amount of durability let's run this once more so we want it to go down three times then up three times then face down and while you're down go forward 30 times and come back 30 times yes let's see what happens now and Oh, it's run into problem. Uh, can we see the what's the problem? Let's switch back to survival mode. Keep saying solid. Uh, how do I stop it? Let's just turn this off and on again. And I hope this is okay with you guys. <laughs> we have encountered our first problem. So act forward. Uh, act not found. What do you mean? Run forward. Can't run swing forward. Oops. And on F now. Can't. Huh. Oh. Okay. It's getting a little bit messy. Do uh, what about that side? Like up, okay. 
uh, run up. And then let's run this down. Why wouldn't you go forward? What was the problem with going forward? Run forward. Of course. Run swing forward. Oh, there's no swing forward option. Of course, there's run swing. Yeah, I get it. Okay, I made a huge mistake. Let's edit the mine file. If it was stuck on forward, it had to do a swing only. There's no swing forward option. Okay, mine once again. Let's follow our robot along. Yeah, you see, it in cartons a problem, and then it just try to move forward, which is perfect. And this is going to continue for 13 blocks, which is too long, I guess. I'll cut the video and come back for you. Game mode. Zero. All right, so Harkness is back and it placed the block back perfectly, and it brought us twenty-three dirts. Thank you, sarcastically. And there's quite a lot of durability in here, which is perfect. Let's just complete. Oops. So we want to go down more than three times, maybe five times, and then up five times as well. And two, three times is too much, let's do 50 for now, and back 50 as well. Alright, go mine. And let, I guess we should follow. Yes. Perfect. So it will mine anything here and then come back. And by the way, Harkness made this huge mess. And I'm, I guess I'll clean it up later, but just FYI, 30 was way too much for Harkness. Okay, coming back to your base. Yeah, it's coming back. Great. And switching to the you normal know, mode. It collected one diorite, 13 cobblestone, and 3 dirt. Good job. So, uh, what should we do next? I guess let's uh, further improve our run command that we wrote earlier switching to our editor wait then okay so let's go open our run command i don't want to do x anymore i want it to do move and the handler should be a little more ah uh, you know it should be much better so let's copy the handler from here and yes I really don't need the alright whatever let it remain there and I guess that's enough am I really using the shell API yeah yeah okay it was right in front of me I guess <laughs> I really am using it. Anyway, let's uh, try the run command. So run forward three times. Should work in... Oh no. 
back two times. You need to crafting bench. You stupid robot, bad robot. All right. So we have thirteen cobblestone, and what do we need now? We should start a farm soon, but before that, we really need to get much more trees. I mean, we have only two oak wood remain, seven oak wood remaining, and that's not much. So, what tree is it going to be? I guess. Um, let's start with that one. So, Harkness, I'm just gonna it is you now. Let's run like a pro. So, you want to go down one block. Uh, am I right? Is, is it three blocks? Cat library. No, cat source out. You go down two blocks. Okay, so go down two blocks and then turn around and forward. How many is it? Uh, one, two, three, three. Then up, then down, then back three, then turn around, and then up two, and then place down. Let's see what it does. So it goes down, turn around, goes forward, okay. One too many forward, but it's okay. So it only needs to be two. And back at two as well. Alright, uh, let's actually write this to a thing. So edit source 3 3 3. No, 3 3 will be what? So we want to unload first package that loaded that move equal nil and then import no local move equals require no yeah that's it i guess uh we have written this really cool callback function we should make it available as a library let's do that real quick so here is our great callback function just gonna copy it and then in the home library I'm just gonna say handler I'll do that. and handler should be an empty class or call handler and then we'll return handler and here I'm just gonna say function handler.handler yeah And it needs to import the new function, so I'm gonna do that. Local new require move. Uh, I'm not gonna unload it because if it's necessary, it will be unloaded elsewhere. Uh, let's not be an idiot and do it actually. So package that loaded that move we call nil, and that's it. So now home source tree and tree tree and I will call handler require handler that handler okay so now we have a path what was our path again I'm gonna cheat and look there down twice turn around forward three times up and that was going out of the house then another path down back three times turn around and up two times right right 
So I'm just gonna move that move. Actually, let's just call move that move. And I guess we should really unload the handler as well. So now it will be move path and handler return local path. Okay, should work. So what is this going to do? It's just going to go out of the house and then it's going to come back. Just we have seen all this before. It's nothing new. So. Let's try it. So it was in source three, three, three. Yes, perfect. Place down. Why didn't you place down? Source three, three, three. That Lua. It didn't place down because I didn't tell it to. Simple as that. Run this down. Perfect. Uh, I think that's it for today, guys. We have done quite a lot, and in the next episode, we're just gonna improve our friend, our friend Harkness over here, and perhaps extend our house a little bit. You know, we can actually we can create a furnace right now. Let's just do that real quick before the episode ends and yeah there we go we should have put it i'm just gonna put it right over here i guess and light it up so in the next episode our friend harkness will try to extend their house in some direction and let's see what happens then until then Thank you guys for watching and see you again in the next one. Bye bye.